Hi, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the first video in the electric circuit series where I'm going to introduce you to simple circuit symbols. So we'll start off with the easy one. The obvious one is a wire. So a piece of wire is drawn as a nice straight line. Make sure that when you're doing it um, yourself, you're using a ruler. Uh, then we need some sort of source of electricity or a battery. So the symbol for that is um, two vertical lines and one's longer than the other. The longer line is the positive. Um, and the shorter line is the negative, and we'll talk about that in a later video a bit more. So that could be like a little battery like this. You may see the symbol drawn in circuits um, with a couple of these together, and that just means that you've got a number of batteries together. Or you could see it with uh, a dash with a line, an arrow through it. And that means you've got a, a source of electricity that can change. It's variable. And so in your classroom, you've probably had to play with something like this, um, and you can change the voltage here. So that's a variable power supply. But just to keep things simple, for most of the circuits I'm going to be talking through through this video series, I'm just going to use the one symbol. Um, and it could mean any of those, and I'll tell you how much voltage it is, um, but it's just easier just to keep it as the one symbol. We've got a bulb we can put in the circuit as well. So that's a, a circle with a cross through it, or the other symbol you might see for a bulb is this little sort of bumpy half circle in there. Again, I'm going to use the one with the cross, but it doesn't mean that the other symbol might not turn up in exams, and you should at least know what it is. So now that I've got the simple circuits, I can um, symbols, I can make a very simple circuit. Start with my battery, add some wires, and add a bulb. So that's a very, very simple circuit. And how you draw it um, by hand, you just make sure that you use your ruler to get everything right. Other symbols that come up quite a bit um, this year is a switch. So a switch in class might have looked like this, a knife switch. Um, and a switch in your house looks like this. They do exactly the same thing. They just change uh, and break contact between two metal bits and, and then close the contact again. So that's the symbol for the switch. And a resistor um, has two symbols that are common. I use the, the box symbol, um, but there's the wavy line as well. And a resistor is something that turns electricity into heat. So a light bulb turns electricity into light. Resistor turns electricity into heat. And um, common resistors you might see is um, these small ones go in um, miniature circuits to, to change voltages. And bigger resistors that you'll see more likely, if you don't study electricity as a, an electrical engineer or anything, is inside your toaster. The red wires that they glow because they get so hot, that's resistance wire. It's a type of wire called nichrome wire. And that um, turns electricity into heat. You may also see the same symbols with an arrow through it. Now just like when you saw the um, battery symbol with the arrow through it, it means it's variable. So these are resistors where you can change the resistance, change how much electricity is turned into heat. Um, so in your class you might have something like this, or in smaller circuits you get a, a variable resistor that looks like that. So again, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to use the box as my resistor um, for moving forward for the rest of these videos. So these are the mainly the five symbols that you'll see over and over again. Um, if you've got these, you should be able to make sense of the videos that come after this one. 